This is Advanced Tools for Driftwood Sculpture. Previous videos have showed us the basic tools that we use, but we have others that can be employed in Driftwood Sculpture. Some are homemade, some are designed for another purpose, and some are ready-made. So what we're going to do today is just go through some advanced tools. This tool here, it was originally a uh, clay tool and it has been sharpened on both ends and it's now a scraping tool. This is originally a uh, cabinet scraper tool and it is a large version of this homemade tool that we have. It's in a teardrop shape. Or this is a dowel with a nail with a piece of bandsaw blade cut and shaped and welded onto the top. So how this is used, how these are used, is in a scraping motion. This allows you to scrape on the side. If you have a point where you want to get into, you can do it like that, like that. Or if you have a rounded area that you want to get into, like in here, you can use the, tear, the rounded part of the teardrop. And this is the same version, it's just or the same thing, just a much larger version for your much bigger pieces. And this, this clay tool, really does work quite well when it's sharpened. It will take out a lot of material quickly using the flat side or if you want to get to a rounded area, this part. So we also have some smaller scraping tools. They kind of fall under the uh, the guise of a pick. This is a wax carving tool that is rounded at both ends and has been sharpened. And this allows you to get into very small, thin areas like this so that you can scrape. A lot of times our routers are much too big to get into these small curved areas. This is another dental type tool, but you can see it has kind of a teardrop end on it. And this is for more areas that have a crack or if you need to get into a small area on the inside this will help you get material out. Oftentimes we have areas that we need to get into but we don't have a ready-made tool to help us get into that. These are some tools that I actually had to make or convert. This is a clay tool also and it's been filed the edges have been filed so it's sharp and then this point has been filed down and what this does is allows me to get into again the cracks of things if it needs kind of a wide um, flare on this or gets into the rounded areas if I need just to have a little rounded scraping done. This is also a clay tool that I have bent the edge over because I needed to get into cracks, very small cracks, and need to be needed to be done in a pulling motion. It works very well for that in cleaning out the cracks. This is a carving tool that I bent and twisted because I needed to chip or carve the previous video well, shape. Uh, showed one of these brushes, but all of these are valuable in their own way. This brush is used for when you want to do some fine brushing. If you have some texture that you want to keep, you can just brush it. This will also brush away the gray material and like that, soft material. This is a coarser brush. Um, this will brush away a lot of soft material in a hurry. It will also leave um, extensive scratch marks if you have a soft wood like, like cedar. Um, you can also use this brush in water if you're just cleaning it. Since it's brass, it, it, won't, it won't rust. This is a brush that's necessary for when you're sanding, um, particularly if you're in a classroom situation where you just want to brush the material that you sanded away so it falls straight down 
as opposed to just blowing on it and sending it um, over to your classmate. One of the other things that um, is very, very helpful is to have saws in case you want to remove a piece of your wood. I happen to like the uh, Vaughn Bear Saw set. It um, is interchangeable. You can have a large, you can have a large blade when you need it, and it just locks in like that. And you can take it and saw off any piece that you want. Or if you need a smaller blade, or an even smaller blade for uh, fine cutting, these are these are good good saws to have. So our final piece of advanced, which wasn't mentioned in the previous video, are antlers. These are some of the tools that we use for burnishing. This is an antler. This is a bone folder. If you don't have access to an antler, these are available at like a Joann's or a Michael's. Just go to the uh, card section where they make greeting cards and they will have the bone folders. Thank you for watching this video on advanced tools. Hope we haven't frightened you off.